Greetings, this is August 12th at 3 p.m. I'm going with uh, some new infrared data received at 2.39 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, it's on the 6 to 12 hour map, but first we'll take a look at Windy. It's coming in 14 kilometers an hour at the Big Bar Rest Area. At a, generally from the south, a little bit of swing from the southeast. Remember it'll change on your position whether you're in a plateau or a valley. Okay, here's that uh, the last 12 hours what we're looking at. Uh, concentrations of infrared activity in the northeast uh, heading north towards Green Lake. Uh, I'm seeing no dramatic changes from the last update. Uh, I'm not including this I'm not looking at the six hour update because there's no information showing on it. So let's just go with the most recent data we have, which was from 12 to six hours ago. Here is the 24 hour map. Um, I don't, you can see within there, there's these horizontal stripes. And I've been referring to that as an infrared control signature. So we're looking at that. Um, now underneath some of these random builds that are occurring in those areas of high volatility and you can see they're almost broken up into separate little forest fires all contained within this same elephant hill wildfire perimeter which is only an estimation from the satellite data i'm receiving please go to the links below and get the official count and tally this uh, is the northeast section, uh, the one that has been threatening uh, the southwestern shores of Young Lake and uh, threatening the Dead Man River Canyon north of Vedette and uh, the Bonaparte area at the north of your screen and now onto the Green Timber Plateau, which uh, has encroached within eight to nine um, fingernails so I'm guessing kilometers so you got to go to the official sources below to find out exactly what is the range and scope of this fire front um, we're looking at the 6 to 12 hours everything included uh, to see this patterning I, w I want you to have the data in front of you so that you can make your own interpretations and see what I'm seeing on an Android screen the uh, uh, the official um, sources and uh, the people in charge of the fire, they have far better equipment than this and they're actually doing like heat map. You are now looking at a satellite overlay with the infrared indicated on top. It gives you an idea of the terrain and uh, what's occurring around Upper Loon Lake, what's occurring uh, to the east of Loon Lake. Here we are looking at the fire front moving north and we see 70 mile on the left hand side. We see Green Lake on the north side and it gives you an indication of the bodies of water, uh, where the fire is progressing, the distances and there's a scale in the bottom uh, right hand portion of the screen so that you can kind of judge for yourself where the proximity is as indicated by this satellite infrared update let's say 12 hours ago to six hours ago uh, not much showing in the most recent data okay now we're going to jump down to the southern region of the elephant hill wildfire uh, i want to look at those areas on the southwest flank by highway 99 highway 97 this is a uh, 6 to 12 hour period of infrared gathering and you can see the fine line of where that fire flank is uh, if we jump over to the terrain with all the data for the last 24 hours you can see where these pockets of intensity are south of high um, encroaching upon the Dead Man River Canyon, but where the hoodoos are, where the crews have been doing an amazing job holding that back. Um, now they've got this coming from the south, and I'm hoping that's going to come up the canyon and kind of push it away from them. Again, you have to watch for the updates that you're going to get from BC Wildfire, because they're going to give you the 
what is happening on the ground and in the air. We're looking at it on a screen, so check the bulletins below. Be safe, know your position, know your escape route, plan ahead, and be safe. This is an active wildfire.